Hi, I'm Sharon and welcome to my channel. Although things have been really quiet regarding videos lately, behind the scenes I've been working away and especially with book arts and creative journaling. So I thought I would come on and give you a bit of a, a, a look-see at what I've been up to. Um, what Most of what I'm going to show you is what I would call ongoing. I've got quite a few of them happening now and, and in the past I would have, wouldn't have liked that many um, works in progress hanging around. I've become really comfortable with um, jumping around and adding bits and pieces here and there. Rather than going through a book page by page, I'm now really comfortable with ongoing. It keeps me interested because I follow my intuitive flow and I pull from my stash and work on what draws me at the time. This way I can have different styles happening and not feel locked into only doing one type of art until I've finished. Having said that, there is such a thing as having too many and losing interest, so I've also become very comfortable with moving on from something or um, incorporating it into something new. Some of these book projects I've, um, I have shown you previously and I have advanced them on. Others I haven't shown you yet, so let's get started. So the first one I want to show you is an altered book journal. I've been using this for notes and I no longer want, wanted it or needed it. So I just started doing um, art explorations in it. And it ended, ended up being an exploration of different colour schemes. I also ended up with the parameters of using numbers, um, quotes and little architectural and engineering diagrams that I had in my stash. They also have um, watercolour, bits of um, colour pencil mark making and in on most of the pages they have some bold stenciling in Prussian blue. So a lot of these colour schemes you'll be very familiar with as part of my work. Others are very different but I thoroughly enjoyed finishing this and working my way through the pages. It's also helped me to find some new colour schemes that I'd like to explore more. You probably notice that these types of colours turn up quite a bit in different ways. This one I found to be a particular favourite that what I want to do some more in, this beautiful purpley pink. And I finished it here because um, I was a bit worried about how the spine was going to hold up if I did any more. But this just shows you I started every single page in the same way with a collage of book pieces of book page and then worked my way from there. This one is the same sort of journal I had been using as my um, diary planner and when it was finished I just started glue booking. 
with lots and lots of pieces of scrap. I have a feeling that I probably won't finish this book and I'm also feeling inclined to cut the pages out and then cut them up and use them as tags and other things like that in other book projects but it's fun to fun just to spend time collaging It's also been a showcase for a lot of the wonderful digitals that I've I've purchased over the years and have built up in my stash. Now to this basket of concertina sketchbooks. Some of these were larger ones that I've shown you that I cut down into a slim and a small a slim and a small and I'm taking them in slightly different directions I haven't done a lot in this one except add a bit more stenciling But this one, I'm doing it in mainly earthy colours. This one, I'm doing in these kinds of colours that I've done on the cover. And I found this printable pack of abstracts. And I'm cutting pieces out of it, out of the pages, out of the pieces, and using them as collage. Again, there's not a lot done in this one yet. Just a little bit of collage on top of what was already there. But all of these, I've given them a little bit of a theme. As I said, this one's going to be colourful, a bit more colourful and abstract. This one's earthy. This one, again, is a sh showcase of some printables I, I purchased. And I'm just isolating little pieces. And this is the colours that I'm using in this piece. I'm really enjoying building up a scheme around these printables. This one, another printable that I found, printable set that I found. I absolutely love these digital cells that the creator has made in her papers. And I'm using, a, and these like dimensional pieces came with, came in the set. And I'm just cutting out little pieces and using them to build up a story. Letting the, with all of these, I'm letting the background speak to me in a way. I'm adding more ink blots. And this one was another one that I had gone through and painted 
all the whole thing in different colors rainbow type colors and again another printable that I'm isolating little pieces and building up a story I haven't done a lot in this yet except go through and add some stamping and some mark making with colored pencil I'm loving the colors. The colors are really inspiring to me. So then I've got my fragment journals that if you've um, watched anything on my channel, um, you may have seen before. This is the original or the fragments number two the original is no longer around i've used it's been absorbed into other projects um, but this one hangs out in my studio and the, i won't go through this much because i have gone through it on a previous video and i don't think i've i don't think i've added a great deal since that video maybe a bit more collage little bit more experimental work but these are these are my play journals these are the ones that I just um, if I want to try out different if I've got new stamps or new stencils or try out different color schemes have little bits of scrap I want to um, put somewhere in the studio so as I said there's not a lot extra has been done in this since I showed it last but what I have done is make another one and this hangs out where I do my journaling and it, the the idea was that it was going to be another another fragments journal similar to my studio one but I recently had a purging of all my um, patchwork fabrics and patchwork um, patchwork projects that I had in storage I haven't haven't done any for years maybe even even a decade probably even a decade and I had all these in storage waiting these pieces cut out to make a couple of quilts and it's something I've decided I don't want to do anymore so these pages have become a place for a mixture of my of these applique uh, patchwork fabrics and also pieces of under paint I under paper bits and pieces of paper that I as you can that you can see this one like this one that is on my table and it blots up inks and paints and and bits and pieces and they make extraordinary collage material and I wa wanted to showcase them they're so beautiful some of them and I haven't got much further than actually collaging them in and adding to to some of the adding fabrics to some of the pages but that's what this project will end up being Some of these scrap pieces of paper are just wonderful, wonderful for collage material. That one is, that one was, I isolated from a large, much larger piece that was on my desk. A lot of these I did. It's just a lot of fun.
I'm also adding to the pages little pieces of these book page that comes uh, out, out of a book on ornament and design and there I think they're a perfect accompaniment to these scrappy graffiti like papers And this little one I've shown you before as well. Not a lot ex new has um, gone into this one, but it's always there when I feel like, whoop, upside down. <laughs> it's always there to have they go in. when I feel so inclined. It's just a gradual building up. 